Greeting citizen. Hey you, hey friend, welcome back. And if you've never been here before, hi. My name is Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I would love it if you would join the Brat Pack by subscribing and ringing the bell. I put out new videos every week, both true crime and beauty related, and I would love to hang out with you. Yes, you specifically, you. For today's video, which is a bonus video going up in the middle of Hollowsteen, which if you don't know what Hollowsteen is, it is my Halloween series on YouTube for the month of October where we do a video where I put on a Halloween makeup look while discussing the true story that inspired a Halloween themed or horror themed movie. For example, The Exorcist, The Conjuring, others to come. Um, I don't want to give anything away because we're in the middle of it, but uh, I tell you the true story that inspired those movies while putting on a Halloween look. But I wanted to do just a makeup video for those of you who are not into the spooky spooky because I know some people just want a little bit of a release and I also know that people love boxy charm unboxings for the spoilers so that is what today is going to be I'm gonna unbox this I'm gonna give you some swatches I'm gonna tell you if I think it's good it's just gonna be a quick little thing so you can get an idea of what could be in your box if you have one coming or if you're just kind of deciding if you want boxy charm or if it's worth it I'm gonna let you know what I think it's really that simple it's not very deep so with all of that said, I think it's time that we stop talking about it and start being about it and just get into this box. Let's do it. So I haven't even opened it yet. I'm going to open it with you. And for anybody who doesn't know what BoxyCharm is, because I realize I forgot to say that in the intro, it is a subscription service where each month they take about 25 bucks from your account and send you this box to wherever you would like to have it. So, and it's usually four to five full-size products. Let's get into her. We start with the card here. The theme is candy shop and they let you have some lollipops. We'll refer to this if necessary. So the first item in the box is from Murad Cosmetics. It is their AHA and BHA exfoliating cleanser and it retails for exfoliating? Yeah, I said that right. It retails for $40. Um, that's pretty cool. I do like Murad. I have liked things that I've gotten from them in the past. I do know that they are cruelty free. So if that's important to you, that is important to me as well. So just know that, that they are. I've enjoyed what I've gotten from them. This is a pretty big cleanser. It comes with 6.75 ounces, which is pretty good. I'm excited to try it. I personally use um, pretty exclusively the Drunk Elephant face wash myself. I use other exfoliators though, and this is an exfoliator cleanser, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so far, so good. Let me know if you've tried this. I will put somewhere, if I end up liking it, you'll see it in a future video, or follow me on Instagram, Bradderstein. I put updates in my stories all the time. $40. The next item in the box is from Tarte Cosmetics. It retails for $23, and it is their Maracuja Miracle Mist. It's a setting spray, which I do like that it's one of the, um, you know, Ooh. aerosol really uh really smooth fine mists it does say that it's got a radiant finish which isn't like my preferred finish if i'm honest just because i've got oily skin but i will still give it a shot sometimes when i have ones like this like the morphe one i used to buy i really liked i don't buy it anymore but i would just spray it in this area like do a quick like psh, psh, in the highlight areas then use something more lock it for uh the rest of my face but 23 bucks it's cool it's something i wouldn't have bought myself so i'm happy to try it and again refer to uh, the Instagram stories if you'd like to see an update. The next item is from the brand Ace Beauté. It retails for $16 and it is their duo lip liner set. So let's open this up and see what the shades are like, huh? I have tried things from Ace. I like their uh, eyeshadows. They're pretty good. If you haven't tried them, highly recommend it. If you have BoxyCharm, I'm sure you've tried them because they send us this brand a lot. I have never tried any of their lip products though. Ooh. Okay, the first one is in the color So Gorgeous. I'm gonna do a swatch and be peachy. Oh, these are shades that I could easily get behind. So the red one is so gorgeous and the brownie peachy nude one is uh, so peachy. These are both shades that I would use quite often. The peachy one would have gone really good with this lip today and I wear, like if I'm gonna wear colored lips, I really enjoy red. So for me, this is a pretty good duo. And again, it retailed for, wait, $16. And again, I believe this brand is cruelty free as well, as well as Tarte. So, so far we have a full on cruelty free box, which is Good job, cosmetic industry. I know it's like a hype thing, but either way, I'm, I'm happy for it. Thank you. The next item in the box is from the brand Sol de Janeiro. I love Sol de Janeiro. Their chapstick, their regular chapstick is so good. It's the only one that my husband will repurchase over and over again, even though it is like $20. And this also retails for $20. This is in the shade Keep It Rio. I've never tried any of their tinted lip butters, which is what this is. I'm really excited to try it because their original chapstick is so good. If you haven't tried it, highly suggest. Ooh, the packaging's cute. It's very much like their, uh, their oils, their body oils that you can buy. I bought one for Hawaii. I never used it. It's a waste of money. Oh, interesting. So this is Keep It Rio, but uh, it goes on clear. It's right there, which you see nothing. 
Mm, it smells like the regular one. I will give this a shot, and again, it'll be in my Instagram stories if it is as good as the original. I buy the original often. I've repurchased it several times, and this retails for $20. Again, cruelty-free. And wow, we really just blasted through that box. This is probably gonna be my quickest BoxyCharm video ever, which honestly, I feel like they should be sort of short, in my opinion, just because you wanna kinda get to the point. At least that's what I want from a BoxyCharm video. But the last product retails for $32. It's from the brand Pretty Vulgar, who I have tried items from and I have liked items from. And this is their Nesting Bitch Face Eyeshadow Palette, or Face Palette, excuse me, Face Palette. These are the shades right here, and honestly, I'm pretty into like this whole half of the palette. I think these might be a little deep for me, but these would be really good eyeshadows. And I have liked the products I've used from them. I've had blush from them, I've had mascara from them, concealer, highlighter, everything I've had I've liked. I feel like they're a little bit underrated, especially because their packaging is so cute, and I like the, the name of the brand, Pretty Vulgar. I think that that's right on brand with the who I am as a person and you know the whole morbid makeup thing but uh I'm really excited about it and uh let me give you a couple swatches because you might like to see those so this right here is the top row for reference I would bring the swatches closer for you but if you've been here before you know that my camera's autofocus is broken and it sucks a d so it doesn't work sorry okay and these ones here are for the bottom row which is really cool because this in the pan looks pretty warm but on my hand it's pulling pretty cool so it could be possibly used as a contour i am going to try this next time i do my makeup and i will put my uh updates where in my instagram stories Wow, this is really cute. So inside of the palette, it says definition, nesting bitch face at the top. They don't write the word bitch. It's got like, you know, whatever. It says definition, nesting bitch face. And it's got the, uh, the definition. It says noun, when you've had resting bitch face since birth. I like what you're bringing to the table, pretty vulgar. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do the math and let you know what the total retail value of the box is this month, let you know what I think is worth it, let you know what my favorite item is, ETC, ETC, so BRB. Okay, friends, I just did the math and the total retail value of the box this month is $131 and you pay 25 a month, so I think it's worth it. <laughs> uh, I always say this, I've said it a million times, I only get two subscription services anymore, both of which I pay for, BoxyCharm and FabFitFun, and I think they are both absolutely worth it and absolutely wonderful. In this box in particular, I would use every single item, so that is a plus, because that isn't always the case. The only thing I'm like not so 100% on is the setting spray, because a radiant finish isn't my journey with my oily ass skin. However, I will still try it, and if I do not like a setting spray for that purpose, I usually use it to make the glitter eyeshadow stick, like I did today with a setting spray that I don't particularly like, so I don't have to waste my good setting spray for it. You feel me? You feel me? So. Uh, $131 for $25. I think it's worth it. There will be a link down below if you want to sign up. It is not an affiliate link. It is just a link for you. Or you can go to BoxyCharm's website, which BoxyCharm.com, I think. Something like that. Um, I will list down below uh, each item I got, whether it's cruelty-free or not, and the prices. If you want to know about anything that I'm wearing on my face today, it'll be down below as well. My favorite item from the box this month. Oh, I'm honestly really excited about everything except for the setting spray. I don't have a favorite. They're all tied until I try them, but I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this. I have a feeling I'm gonna really like the chapstick. Ugh. Yeah, those will probably be my top two and probably the face wash too. We'll see. If you wanna know, you know what to do. Uh, and that's that's it guys, that's the video. It's a really quick one, it's a really simple one. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to join the Brat Pack because I put out new videos every week, both true crime and beauty related. Uh, we're doing a fun Halloween series here and then it's true crime like usual, my baby. So if that, uh, that's something you're into, make sure to subscribe and thank you for being here when you could literally be anywhere else in the entire world. This is tight, you are tight, and I hope to see you in my next video, bye.